What is up guys, this is Stato back with another PC related video and this time I'm gonna be showing you the latest Windows 11 Pro Insider Preview on the dev channel. And this particular build is the 25193.1000 build and here I found a lot of new changes so I'm gonna be showing you everything, sit tight and relax and watch the video till the end to know what's new in this build. Well first things first that I have noticed over here is the task manager. This task manager looks amazing, everything is in dark. That's because I have been using the dark theme and yes, in the white theme it turns white totally but yes, you are finally getting the dark kind of look on the task manager. That's huge. And here, if you're noticing, I have changed graph to logical processor and stuff. I have done that and this is how it looks with that. And I have been running this Windows 11 dev channel built on i5-7400, so that's a 7th gen i5 desktop CPU. It's been running great, I have 8 GB of RAM which is of 2400 MHz and yes, it's working fine with this and of course I have installed it on this SSD. This is the only disk that I have over here. This is a 240 GB light on SSD and here if you're noticing I got a GPU kind of like driver update. Let me actually show you. Right now the driver version is 31.0 something but this is the latest version. If you're noticing the driver date is 19 July 2022 and let me show you how it actually looked with the driver update. I really did not see this kind of looking driver update from Intel. The whole installation user interface of this iGPU driver installation from Intel has been really surprising me and I would say I was pretty impressed with this kind of UI. Just notice the installation wizard and it looked beautiful but nothing much later but the normal driver is working great and of course I'm using OBS for recording and with that I have been using the quick sync of Intel and because of that if you're noticing right now it's almost using 50% of my iGPU because I'm still recording you can see that red icon on the OBS over here I mean the OBS's icon so yeah with normal recording and nothing moving and stuff, it's already using 60-50% of the iGPU. That's how it is. But this task manager is really beautiful to me at least. And from here, you can copy some like information from right here, whatever you are seeing from right here. And you can run something from right here, but this run dialog box actually opens in the white theme, which is kind of weird, I would say. And here, let me actually show you, you can expand this processor performance and the other things right here. And let me actually show you from the settings, you can actually change this to default startup page uh, over here. This is how the settings panel look of the task manager right now. Everything just looks fresh in my opinion. And we have this real time speed monitor. You can actually change it to high if you want. Then we have the always on top, minimize on use and the hide when minimized, etc. customizations for the settings of the task manager. Let's move on to the performance right now. Let me actually show you. You can actually minimize it, but it doesn't look good. This is how much you can minimize the task manager if you double click anywhere but you can of course see the cpu usage and stuff just like this if you double click on this particular area when i have it minimized just like this i cannot really scale it down earlier it used to go all the way to like here and right now it's pretty like horizontally stretched i would say for no reason i don't see a particular reason why it's like this but yeah this is how it is but overall the task manager looks really beautiful now one more thing is that on the maximizing screen I have seen these kind of things like if you click here, it will flip it to the left side of the screen, magnetically attach two windows or separate windows, just like this, as you're noticing, you can also go with three apps or four apps just like this. But right now, if you just drag and hold on the top part bar of any app, you will see this rectangular long kind of box appearing on the top. And if you just drag and drop it over here, you can actually see how it will look just like this. Just notice how beautiful this animation looks and here I would say this is one of the most amazing features of this latest dev channel build and you can just drop it right here or you can drop it anywhere else if you want. So yeah, this is a really great feature and the animation of this actually looks beautiful. Let me actually drop it here. So yep, this is great that we have all these features for all the other apps and here as well. As you can see, this is how you can manage every app just as you like it to be. Overall, the snapping of apps is really good over here while like moving on the top. You will see this pop-up box from where you can actually magnetically put the windows anywhere you want. Just like this, it will also show a preview of how it looks and this frosted glass kind of effect to me at least looks amazing. Now, let me tell you one thing, this internet speed meter kind of thing, I have made a previous video on this. But let me tell you on the dev channel or beta channel, it will actually not work on the taskbar. Click on the show taskbar window. It will actually show just like this. It will hide the particular apps, I think. 
let me show you yeah it did hide the liver office and the settings for me so yeah this is how it is as of right now with this particular app that's why i'm not using the show taskbar window if you want to get it you can get it from the description and this is a really handy internet speed monitor that i use on a daily basis now here this is how the start menu actually looks like and yes it looks similar than how it was and in the start menu settings let me show you there are more layout options like you can have more pins just notice right now you will have much more space over here if i had a lot of apps pinned you will see right here just notice this recommended text is right here and if i just put it to default the recommended text moves up and the whole this thing moves up so yeah we have more recommendation options so if you want more recommendation you can enable that now in the folders you can enable anything like the file explorer settings etc this will appear just like this over here as you can see the start menu just force closed on me so yeah this is not ready for daily driving but that's how it is now one more important feature that is the drag and drop and here let me actually show you i have this empty folder right here which i just opened on the desktop and if i want to drag and drop this note on this particular folder i definitely can as you can see right now it actually opens that particular folder so drag and drop is finally back on the dev channel and i'm really liking that i can also open it even in opera and stuff if i want as you can see, it says just a note. So yeah, this is great that the drag and drop is finally back. And if you click on this Wi-Fi and sound toggle, this is how it looks. You can increase or decrease the volume from right here. You can change the output or input device from right here. That's great. And here we also have the Wi-Fi switching option. And this is how you can actually switch from right here. And we have even more Wi-Fi settings you can open from right here. And we have the other toggles like the airplane, night light, etc. Night light should be working fine. I know you cannot really see that. We have the mobile hotspot then the accessibility settings. And yes, there is even more editing option. You can add cast, nearby sharing, project, etc. options if you want those. Of course, Bluetooth and stuff will appear if you're on a laptop. But yeah, this is a PC, so I don't have a Bluetooth dongle or something over here. That's why they are not appearing. And here, let me show you the calendar kind of things. And in here, this is how it looks. The notification panel appears on top. We have this do not disturb mode right here. We have clear all the apps for the notification right here. And this is how the calendar looks right now. And it actually shows the date right here. And of course, the calendar, you can move just like this. But on the bottom, you already have the focus option. By the way, the weather section or the widget is actually looking cool. If you just hover your mouse on the weather section, this is how the widgets look. We have this kind of weather right here and we have the photos and stuff right here. And if you scroll down, this is how you, it will show your news feed basically. So this is great. This is how an empty folder looks like. Even in the desktop, this is how the empty icons will look. And here, if I just drag and drop this particular thing on maybe this on this new folder, just notice this is how it looks whenever it has this is how it looks whenever you have some pictures or videos just notice how beautiful it looks once it has all these things in the folders so i do like this new folder look of the windows 11 dev channel much much better i would say than the stable windows 11 bits now there is one more thing which is new and here let me actually show you if i open this particular disk this is how it looks now on the file explorer itself we have the tabs and you can create a particular tab which will open a new window. So let's assume if I want to drag and drop between these particular tabs of the file explorer, let me show you if I can do that. So I can just, just drag and drop it over here and it will actually move the file from this folder to this folder. And let me just do it again. So yep, dragging and dropping between the files is actually working perfectly fine even with the tabs. So this is brand new feature. And all the other shortcuts and stuff are still working like the Windows Shift S and stuff is still working fine. You can select a particular area if you want to crop and take a screenshot or you can just take a full screenshot just like this from here. And as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. So yes, all these features are working and we have this markup kind of thing where you can mark some particular things with a highlighter or pen or you can erase it and you can add a scale or you can like crop this particular thing to full screen rectangle mode and we have also this snip in three seconds snip in five second settings all these things are still there you can copy it you can save it you can share it from right here so that's been it guys about the latest build of windows 11 on the dev channel and this is how everything is right now and you might be willing to try it but i would say if it's a daily driver pc for you or laptop for you i won't suggest using this but yes it has a lot of features which will roll out soon supposedly so do wait for the stable release, I guess. 
So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest Windows 11 dev channel features. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Teacher from KT Index signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.